On June 10, Kai's sleepover stream with Kevin Hart and Drusky maxed out at 672 744 viewers, making it one of the biggest broadcasts in Twitch history. The impressive count saw Kai surpass Tyler Ninja Blevins' own personal best, which was a Fortnite stream with Drake that peaked at 616 693 viewers. However, some viewers mistakenly thought Kai's new record was the highest on Twitch and were quick to share the news with Ninja. While Ninja congratulated Kai on his feat, he also pointed out that the overall record was still held by Ibai's Lavalada del Año 3's event at 3-4 million concurrent viewers. Now, Kai has addressed Ninja's comments, claiming the streaming icon's congratulations was backhanded. I don't blame Ninja for being mad at people coming to his chat and saying that. Kai began, referring to the mass of viewers spamming Ninja about his record being beat. But despite understanding that could be pretty annoying, Kai said he felt there was certain s shoot that Ninja didn't have to say, telling viewers to go back to the clips showcasing past instances where he had passed Ninja. Kai insisted his fellow streamer always backhanded complimented him, calling it a pattern. He's always said like congrats to him. But this happened, Kai explained, stating Ninja didn't even have to address it and could instead ignore spam in his chat. It's crazy to me because I looked up to Ninja and I really believe that streamers have their own different lanes and different times. According to Kai, Ninja Ninja's lane was that he was the best gamer on the best game at the best time with the best people, and there was no reason to compare that to Kai's subathon or successes now. I'm just doing fun SH and people like it. Bro, I'm not doing all that shoot for the views and shoot. I'm just doing SH that I genuinely find fun. It's fun. My lane is being creative. Doing S that people wouldn't even imagine, it's just fun. Felix XQC Leniel has had a few streamer girlfriends over the years, including Adept, Fran, and Nixie. Currently, he's publicly dating Aiku Bliss and has been with her for a few months now. After the two attended Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals together, Aiko Bliss was asked about her time being with Leniel so far, and only had nice things to say about the French-Canadian. I'm very happy. It's the best relationship I've been in, hands down, she gushed. When it comes to caringness, and having conversations and things like that. No offense to anyone else I've ever dated, but it's just a really great relationship. The streamer continued saying everything about her romance with XQC is nice and good, without having to navigate through any drama. That's all I got to say about that. No more about him, she added. Although there may not be any drama in his current relationship, XQC and I could do have a history of sorts. That enraged his ex-partner Adept. In May 2024, Adept leaked an audio call during one of her streams where she berated Leniel for gifting subs to another female broadcaster. A streamer that ended up being Aiko Bliss. <laughs> Although Aiko denied being in a relationship with Kick Streamer, her dog was caught entering XQC's streaming room in a previous broadcast. Now, however, the two are open about their status. And seeing how Aiko is head over heels for Leniel, fans feel this is a healthy relationship for the streaming duo. XQC remains in a dramatic legal battle with his ex-partner despite winning every court case against Adept so far. Earlier in June, he broke into Lafar on stream after his lawyer revealed he wouldn't need to appear in court for the next stage in their legal proceedings. In March 2024, South African music artist Tyla linked up with Twitch star Kai Senat on one of his live streams where the internet personality decided to shoot his shot with the water singer. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? Kai asked. Tyla, it seems, didn't feel the same way about him. You can't do that on a whole live thing, she answered. Um, but we're friends, though. The phrase, we friends though, has become a meme in Kai Senat's fan base and the streaming community at large and even caught the attention of the music industry. As the Breakfast Club host Charlemagne Tha God brought it up during an interview with Tyla in June. Guys, that thing stretched, Tyla said of the response her answer got from the internet. Don't put me on the spot, guys. I will embarrass myself. I'm sorry. Don't put me on the spot. She also admitted that she and Kai don't really talk about that moment but the overwhelming reaction from the stream continues to baffle her to this day. Every time I'm getting tagged, people are commenting. We friends though, she said. It's a whole thing. I found it funny when people started dragging it out. That's when Charlemagne brought up the idea of Tyla making a song about curving dudes based on the viral phrase, something the singer seemed to entertain. Maybe I will, she said, but when the host suggested selling merch and putting Kai Senat in a music video, Tyla balked.
I don't know if I'll do all that. I don't know if I'll make a whole profitable business out of it. Kai Senat's sleepover stream with Kevin Hart and Drusky on June 10 was one of the biggest broadcasts in the history of Twitch. But some people appear to think it set a new site record. According to Twitch Tracker, Kai's stream maxed out at 672 744 viewers and surpassed Ninja's Fortnite broadcast with Drake, which had 616 693 viewers. It's still a far cry from the all-time record. During a June 11 broadcast, Ninja was swarmed by viewers who came into his chat saying that Kai beat his record, forcing Blevins to set the record straight. The highest viewership record on Twitch is 3-4 million, he noted. Am I supposed to be offended? Guys, according to Ninja, it was only a matter of time before Kai had surpassed his personal best, praising him as probably the biggest streamer in the world, or at the very least, in America. FaceTiming Lebron James, Drusky, Kevin Hart, they're in person. Come on, bro, what do you expect? So much F-King star power there, he added. The Fortnite streamer further took issue with people continuing to spam that his record had been broken, explaining that while Kai had beaten his own personal best, it doesn't touch Ibai's Lavalada del Año 3's event, which reached 3-4 million concurrent viewers. However, Ninja did offer up his congratulations to Kai for beating his previous previous record by setting a new personal best and joked about how either of them could easily beat iBuy. Almost there. Guys, we both just have to get 3-5 million viewers, he said. No record got broken last night, except for mine. The news comes one month after Ninja suggested that he could have been as popular as Kai Senat if he had never joined Mixer and kept on grinding when he was at the top of his game. The drama within the Genshin Impact content creation sphere is continuing to rock the community after Twitch streamer Atsu revealed he was quitting due to untrue allegations. In a 34-page document, Atsu detailed how he had hit rock bottom and named multiple creators who were allegedly involved in the drama, including Braxophone, Tectone, Gooser, and many more. However, despite Atsu intending for the document to be a final conclusion to the situation, it has instead sparked a flurry of replies from those mentioned, and they are not impressed with what Atsu had to say. Read on to find out who responded. Throughout Atsu's document, Braxophone played the most significant part. After all, the online drama first began when Braxophone made multiple statements accusing Atsu of gatekeeping events held by Genshin Impact's developer, Hoyaverse, while Atsu labeled these as defamatory remarks and denied there being any truth to them. He also stated he had sat down with Braxophone and cleared the air. But according to the latter, their discussion did not align with Atsu's document. Taking to X formerly Twitter, Braxophone accused Atsu of lying, stating he felt gaslit and betrayed by what was written about him in the document. All of this goes against what we spoke about one-on-one. -on -one. He went on to include his own document in response to Atsu's, in which he stated he was genuinely sad and felt his trust had been broken. Braxophone wrote, Atsu's document frames me to be a liar on all fronts. This contradicts what we spoke about publicly and privately. Continuing, Braxophone addressed every claim that both he and Atsu had previously made, before pressing on the significance Atsu's opinion had in the community and explaining why he felt ostracized by the Genshin Impact streamer and his inner circle. Whether or not you think you do, your words carry an immense amount of weight. My mental health was spiraling every time there was any sort of Hoyaverse official or unofficial event due to being explicitly left out and dragged behind the scenes. Tech Tone was also mentioned multiple times throughout Atsu's document, accused of spinning narratives to content farm for drama after being previously slammed for harassing the Genshin Impact streamer. In hopes of providing full content on the situation, Tectone streamed on Twitch before posting to YouTube the three-hour response of him going through the entire document and discussing every claim Atsu made. According to the Ox streamer, none of this is about the Hoyaverse contracts, all of this is about manipulating people from behind the scenes because that was proven. Tectone accused Atsu of cherry-picking to avoid speaking about the real issue and called his discussion on Braxophone hypocritical, saying, you wonder why people lie and then you flicking lie. He also denied he had manipulated any narrative throughout the drama, unlike what the disappointing 34-page document stated, I don't know what the f this guy is talking about, but I have proof of everything I flicking say, calling Atsu delusional, ignorant, and so wrong. Tectone continued to express frustration over the assertions made about him and stated the drama was flicking 
insane. The same guy who says that drama is bad is actively advocating to make drama content to lecture other creators. Flick Atsu. Flick all them. Flick it all. I'm done with that shoot. While not mentioned in length like Braxophone and Tectone, which streamer Gooser was also named and addressed in Atsu's document, accused of talking shoot and being two-faced. Gooser posted to X to deny this and expressed confusion over the allegations. I never brought your name up ever again on my stream unless it was in a good light and said that I hope you recover and do well and that I genuinely am glad we could squash all our beef. I have matured, but you clearly have not, Gooser continued, writing that although he wished no ill will on Atsu, he did want the streamer to keep my name out your f mouth. Don't take others down with you when you fall the hardest, he said, with a follow-up post revealing Gooser didn't plan on making a video addressing the doc. That's just farming content out of drama, which I have never loved and hate being a part of.